This is the gospel according to St. John, chapter 8, and verse 12. Then spake Yahweh again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Shalom, all glorification, honor, and praise is due only unto Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, along with the bishops of Zaconium, who rule and teach the lambs well, and salutations to the elected Israel, Yasharala, the Bayashad Adda, which is the house of David. And this is just going to be a quick video, all right, going into the light of the world. All right, now the world that's being spoken of here is the world of Israel, well, Cam alone. All right, not everybody on the planet Earth, okay? Because the Greek word for world in this passage is cosmos, all right? It's like you. Greek word 2889, we always go into these things, all right, beginning with the elder apostle, the great millstone on down. All right, you have to know the meaning of these Hebrew and Greek words. You can't just read the scriptures and take them for face value. You, know, you have to dig, man. And the elect of Israel, Lord willing, that's us. You know, we 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 have dug into the scriptures, man. All right, and we understand the scriptures. We have the understanding through the power of the Holy Spirit, Rakakwadash. All right, the Wadi Al Bashim Yahushai for that. But Yahushai is the light of the world. In other words, again, the world of Israel. And right now, that light only shines unto the elect. That starts with the 144,000. All right, the true, uh, the true, it's like a kings and priests on this earth. All right, and it shines unto the uh, remainder of the remnant as well, men, women, and children who have believed our report, pursuant to Isaiah the 53rd chapter. All right, Yahweh Shai is the light of the world. All right, I'm gonna read this again. This is the book of uh, John, Saint John, chapter eight, verse twelve. Then spake Yahweh Shai again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. And two-thirds of our people right now, all right, two-thirds of Israel, all right, they're walking in darkness over here at Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. Okay, two-thirds of you so-called, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians are in the dark, man, spiritually speaking. All right, you're like blind men, you know. You're in the darkness, and even um, elders out here among Israel, you know, men who've been teaching the Bible for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, they're in the dark, okay? They're not walking in the light, okay? They don't they don't know you how it's shy. They don't understand, all right, the dark sayings, and, and they can't discern the parables and the scriptures. They can't discern the signs of the times or the prophecies, all right? They're in darkness, man. All right, he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, right? We're walking in the light, man, but shall have the light of life. Now, in this world... Okay, now I'm talking about like in the oikumene sense of the word world. All right, in this world, you know, uh, Esau is uh, carrying the light on the left hand side. All right, and but his uh, his lamp's about to be put out, man. All right, because that's not really the light. Okay, that's really darkness. All right, but again, two thirds of our people are following after that and thinking they're in the light. Okay, but they're not. All right, um, what is that? Um, Salaki, bear with me just a second. Yeah, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 24. All right, let me get to the right version. All right, yeah, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, and verse 20. It says, for there shall be no reward to the evil man. Now, the, the evil man on the planet Earth is Esau, right? The so-called white race, Edom. All right, and it starts with, his elites, the Dukes of Edom, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, etc. All right, for there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. All right, and it's really been put out, you know, uh, spiritually speaking. You know, when the prophets came onto the scene, you know, going back, you know, uh, 40 some odd years ago now, when the Rakakodas came down, all right, and brought the understanding, all right, to the men of the Lord, all right, <clears throat> that was really the end. All right, of the evil man and the end of his light, okay? You know, Lucifer, right? Which, which you know, even uh, Israelites trip over that word Lucifer. Lucifer just means light bearer, okay? Again, in this world, right, in, in this system, okay, Esau 
is the light bearer. But really, we're the ones bearing the light, man. Okay, because we're coming in the stead of Yahweh Shai and the ancients. All right, Yahweh Shai being the light of the world. All right, we're not walking in darkness, man. We understand that, for example, that America is Babylon, the great, the virgin daughter of Babylon. All right, the daughter of Babylon is not Kamala Harris. I saw some stupid ass meme a little while ago. Okay. And it was a picture of the Statue of Liberty. And it was a picture of uh, Kamala Harris, like in front of the Statue of Liberty. And it, the title of the uh, meme was da The Daughter of Babylon. No, the daughter of Babylon is uh, America. Okay. Ancient Babylon has a daughter. All right. And it's America. Okay. We're walking in the light. We understand these things, man. We understand that, for example, that the uh, MOTB, all right, is that micro C hip, that karagma, all right? Why? Because we're walking in the light, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai is the light, okay? But he also said that his men were the light of the world. Let's get that. <clears throat> all right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 14. Ye are the light of the world, see? So again, we're coming in Yahweh Shai's stead. We're coming in the stead of the prophets. Okay, so we have the light, man. We're armed with the light. How do we shine our lights? Okay, we shine our lights on the highways and byways, all right? On the highways and hedges. Okay, in the chief places of concourse throughout the four corners of the earth, primarily over here in Babylon. All right, that's where we shine our lights. We shine our light when we do walk and talks, like I'm on a walk and talk right now. When we do live streams, when we do videos and upload them to these various social media platforms, all right, we're shining that light, man. All right, ye are the light of the world. Again, that refers to his prophets, man. Okay, to 144,000. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid, right? You can't hide a city that's set on a hill, right? At nighttime, all right, when the uh, sun goes down, okay, <clears throat> and that city's lit up, okay, it can't be hidden if it's on a hill, right? We're not hidden. We're out here in broad daylight, man. Okay, <laughs> we out here doing the work during the day. Now, there's a time coming where we're not going to be able to shine that light, all right, because we have to go through, all right, Amos chapter 8, verses 11 through 13, right, a famine of hearing the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, but we're supposed to work the works while it is day, all right, so, you know, you Israelites really need to be getting this truth, you know, as soon as you can get it, all right, because in the very near future, man, Esau has the internet kill switch, all right, he's going to shut this shit down, man. Now, is he going to totally shut the internet down? No. All right. But when we say that, what we mean is it, it, this truth will no longer be accessible. All right. Online. Okay. And the prophets on that day, you know, when all hell breaks loose, when shit hits the fan, however you want to say it, the prophets are not going to be out preaching and teaching the word in public. Okay. And, 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 and even, you know, it, it, we just gonna be Lord willing, where those men. We're just gonna be trying to, you know, make it. Okay, we we ain't gonna be worried about teaching you, you damn two thirds, man. You scoffers and mockers. All right, you damn false prophets. We're not gonna be worried about uh, teaching y'all. You know, again, it's gonna be the, t the time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, where brothers are just gonna be concerned about, you know, making it through. You know, so if you don't got it now. You know, you have a very limited amount of time. You know, it's, it's like that old saying in the world, you know, get it now while the getting's good. You know, right now the, the prophets is still edifying. The prophets is still bringing it out. The prophets are still breaking breaking down the prophecies, you know, bringing the truth out. All right. But this isn't going to go on forever, man. You know, I mean, you know, as of again, as of Sunday, July the 28th, 2024, to hope we hear Jacob's trouble. You know, we're closer than ever now, you know, to that uh, prophecy being fulfilled, right, which uh, is written, in, again, in Amos, the 8th chapter, verses 11 through 13. Yeah, we got the light, man, all right? And again, ultimately, how is that light? Yeah, it's, it's like it is the book of Psalms, chapter 18, and verse 28, right? For thou wilt light my candle. Right? It says, the Lord, Yahweh, my power will enlighten my darkness. Right? So he's the one that brings us the light, man. He is the light. He's the light of the world, man. You Old Testament only Israelites have a lot to answer for too. You know? Because you're denying all right, the only begotten of the Heavenly Father.
okay, which is written all throughout the Old Testament, man. You just don't have eyes to, to see it. All right, and now that's another lesson for another time, but Yahweh Shah is mentioned all throughout the Old Testament. Okay, you dudes are in a whole lot of trouble, man. All right, y'all in a whole lot of trouble. You know what? That brings me to John. Let's see. That brings me to John uh, chapter 3. Yeah, John chapter 3 and verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, right? Again, through who? Through Yahweh Shai, all right? Which, you know, yeah, we understand Yahweh Shai is the second in command. Right? We understand that the Ancient of Days is the Ancient of Days. His name is Yahweh. It means he exists, he is, he to be, all right? But he sent forth his only begotten son into the world, all right? As the light, okay? Because the Lord don't leave his throne, man. The Heavenly Father don't leave his throne. Right? He gives orders. He gives commands. All right, And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world. And what? And men love darkness rather than light. So you Old Testament only clowns, you really love darkness, man. You're not in the light. All right? You children of the night, man. Okay, Lord willing, we're those children of the day spoken of in the scriptures, the elect men. All right? And men love darkness rather than light. Because why? Because their deeds were evil. Yeah, that's right, man. Ultimately, y'all are evil as hell, man. Y'all are evil motherfuckers. You know, pardon my French, pardon my Swahili. All right. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Yeah. Y'all, what it comes down to is, man, y'all hate Yahweh Shai. You know, this Akari, y'all really hate Yahweh Shai, man. You hate his men. The Apostle Paul, he was the man of the Lord. You know, y'all discount the words of the Apostle Paul, even though the head of the circumcision, Peter, okay, affirmed the writings of the Apostle Paul. All right, 2 Peter, the third chapter. We always go into this, man. He said Paul wrote things that were sometimes hard to be understood. You got guys talking shit about the Apostle Paul, who was a man of the Lord. Okay? They evil, man. All right? For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light. So y'all can't come to the light, man. All right? Lest his deeds should be reproved. Right? And see, we're reproving you, man. All right? For you, we're reproving, all right, you, you uh, wicked scribes and Pharisees, okay, for uh, denouncing the scriptures, for denying the words that the Apostle Paul wrote through the power of spirit of Yahweh Hashem, uh, through Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, tongue tied. Okay? And for even denying the Lord himself. All right, because really what it comes right down to is you hate Yahweh Shai. You hate what he stood for 2,000 years ago, and you hate what he stands for right now. And, you know, your true colors are going to be revealed during this evil time we entering into, man. All right. Verse 21, St. John chapter 3 and verse 21. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. Right, and who's that talking to? Who's doing truth out here? The men of the Lord. We the ones telling you the truth, man. We the ones telling you that Jacob's trouble is coming. And it is, in fact, already here. We in the beginning of sorrows. We're the one telling you to reject the uh, MOTB, which is that karagma, that micro C up. Okay, we're telling you the truth that this place is going to be destroyed. That the heathen nations, for example, are going into slavery. Okay? Without without a, a, a hesitation, man. Okay? And doing it freely, man. We ain't making merchandise out of the congregation. Okay? Yahweh Shah said, uh, uh, freely ye have received, freely give. All right? But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in Yahweh. That's right, man. Back to the book of Psalms. This is Psalms chapter 19, and verse 8. The statutes of the Lord Yahweh are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord Yahweh is pure, enlightening the eyes. Again, man, we got the light of the world. Through Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, through His grace and mercy, all right, He saw fit, fit to uh, call us into this marvelous light. One of my favorite scriptures, man, is Second Peter, the first chapter. All right, the Lord called us into this marvelous light, and that's what we're walking in, man, as children of the day. So, just something I was meditating on the last couple of days, Lord willing. This is an edifying lesson, and with that, I want to say shalom and on to the next video.